What is going on guys, DBG here, in this video we're going to be doing gameplay with a budget card. We have not done a budget card gameplay in quite a while, and this budget card is genuinely, genuinely one of the best super cheap cards you can buy in NBA 2K20, my team, and it's Jamal Murray. So I'm going to start him at the point, and I'm going to put in, I'll put in Clyde at the two, because why not? Um, no point giving him a diamond contract. I'm going to wait till we get the Giannis card to give up, give up one of our diamond contracts. But um, yeah, so the team we're going to run with is Jamal Murray at the one, Norm Powell at the two, Paul Pierce at the three. Pierce has, has clamps, doesn't he? If he doesn't, I'll get rid of him. Even silver clamps is fine. Bronze clamps, that'll do. But um, and then Lamar at the four and Jackson the five. The bench, we've got Baron Davis, Clyde Jackson, Tyler Hero, Blake Griffin, and Amari with Drew Holiday, who is being replaced by... Um, Dion Waiters, Rick Smith, and let's go with, uh, I might put in Clark, no, I'm not going to put in Clarkson, I'll put in, so we need a small forward slash power forward, so let's put in Tobias Harris, Hito, 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 so that's what the lineup we're going to run with, and yeah, so the car we're going to be doing uh, gameplay on here is Jamal Murray, this guy is 1k empty. Okay, I think I bought mine for 1.6k MT on bid. I've seen some of them go finish on bid for 850 MT. He's 1000 MT. He has got gold catch and shoot, difficult shots. He's got gold quick first step. He's got gold stop and go, gold space creator. He has got gold green machine, gold quick draw, gold range extender, gold slippery off ball, gold target shooter, and gold volume shooter. Not much in defense, but offensively has basically every badge you could ask for. Dunk of 75, which is not bad with a tendency of 80. He is a six foot four point guard, so he's got decent height for that position. He's got a great mid range, great three ball, great um, driving layup. He has got a decent enough dunk, great ball handling, good passing stats. He's got solid enough perimeter defense, good speed, speed ball acceleration, and good enough lateral quickness. This guy is the clamps badge away from being probably a better Dion Waiters, if I don't know, pretty similar Dion Waiters. But like, again, the fact he's even in that conversation. And in the conversation with the likes of Norman Powell and stuff, means he's without question one of the best rubies in this game. And again, we're using him in a 95 or 92 overall team, so you're going to see him against some of the best players in the game, hopefully. Hopefully, he come up against a good squad in this game. But um, yeah, so we are going to go over the hot zones and release for this card now. And I'm really, really looking forward to using this Jamal Murray, to be completely honest, because he is a beast. And again, only 1k MT. So Jamal Murray has got hot zones everywhere outside the three-point line, and his release is nice. This is the nicest Jamal Mur release for Jamal Murray we have seen in quite a while. His release was good enough last year, but it was quite slow, because obviously the quick draw badge did not exist. But pretty sure this is the same release he had last year anyway. And yet, the release is really, really nice in this card. Let's test out the leaner here. Okay, I don't know how I feel about that. I know the leaner is not that, exp not, Im not that important, but... He'd still rather have it than not have it. Um, but yeah, he should be a good shooter. Obviously going to the basket. Okay, he can dunk off two feet, which is a good one. Um, I'm guessing if we can burn a few people and get to the basket here. Should be uh, should be all right. So anyway, now let's just get um, hit a couple of threes. But yeah, he should be, there's no reason why this card shouldn't be good. He should be able to burn people off the dribble. Jump shot is nice and quick. If as always, one of the biggest things for me is the high pick and roll here, or the pick and pop. So I like my percent just to pop to where Jamal Murray is right now, coming off that screen into the snatch back into the three. That is like my go-to move in the game this year. Works a charm because once you hit that shot once and you get out to here, suddenly the defender comes up high and you can easily burn him with a quick first step badge. And you can get to the basket quite easily, especially with Jamal Murray's dunk. He could definitely, definitely be um, really effective for that. But anyway... Now let's just green one three, and now let's get on to the game. Okay, so we are playing against Yanis Blake Griffin, Opal J Rich, Pink Diamond D Rose. Gonna be tough, but you know what? Not impossible. His bench is terrible, so we we have got a good chance. That's a bad shot. And we we had two people on Blake Griffin, and somehow for the even none of them went to him. That does not make sense. That does not make sense. Go with the normal tactic. We can connect on this, we're good, which we didn't. Okay, that's open. And that is green from Jamal Murray, let's go. Give him an inch of space and he's hitting that shot every time. Kick the shooter, that's a bad release. Unlucky Jackson. Should be able to get there in time. Ah, oh, come on, we're at split second late. 
Okay, we're good though. Still early days. Just connect, we're good. Straight to the basket. Right at the shooter in the corner for three. Ball. Pierce can't hit it either. Come on. Really, he didn't get one. He should have gotten a block there. Okay, that's just poor by uh, Jackson Jr. right there. Snatch back. Okay, release. And that's off by Jamal Murray. Come on, we cannot buy a bucket right now. That's good as well. And we're down 11 to 3. Come on, this is just not good enough right here. Oh my god, can you just... Can you just get a rebound, Jackson? I think he's physically incapable of getting rebound. He let Blake get four offense rebounds before he got his first defense one. Okay, release. Really? Really, Murray? The defense. Let's push. Hey, Murray, stop. That's his range. Full white glitch. That was a perfect release. Obviously, it was a little bit outside his range considering it was the full white glitch. I'd just be thinking, maybe a little bit of luck can go my way and we can put the ball in the basket again. Because while we haven't gotten the best quality of looks, we've gotten enough good quality looks that were good releases that we should have hit at least one more of these. We should have hit at least one more than one shot anyway. It's open. That's an okay release. Oh, come on, like, like li literally, no, I've greened one shot and every non-green has not gone in. Literally, I cannot hit a shot right now unless it's green through four minutes. There we go. Green light, let's go. Okay, wide open normal power for three, full white glitch. Kick to Pierce in the corner for probably two because I don't think he's step inside the three-one line. We literally cannot hit a shot that's not green. Wide open contested, it doesn't matter. If it's not green, it can't go in and he just makes everything. That's a heavily contested snatch back three off a bad release. Oh, and look, look, the look will even out. The look will even out. That's the only way, that's the way I gotta look at it. Is that eventually the look is gonna even out. And that's not a bad release. I know you can't be, this isn't 2K19, but still. Still, I'm just expecting to get at least something to break our way. Like, this is actually gotten beyond ridiculous right now. This isn't just... Like, this is beyond ridiculous. Like, we're actually getting a lot of good quality looks here with Jamal Murray, who's a really good shooter. Nope, they blew up. But it's like, you look at this right here. Team comparison. They have got seven offensive rebounds and... While we had Odom on the floor, we actually had equally as good rebounders as him. Oh, lads, come on. We have still not yet made a non-green. It has been literally two quarters. We have not made a non or a quarter in a minute. We have not made a non-green. Good pass, nice dunk. Let's go two points at a time. Let's bring this back, bring this back by a basket at a time. Otherwise, we don't stand a chance. Bang, bang. Green light, there we go. We need, we need the luck to start going our way. Like 13 points is nothing right now. Like that's too bad, too bad and we're right back in this game. But we need every one of those 50-50s that's broken to him. From start to finish, every 50-50 is broke to him. Um, and he's hit a ton of whites, whereas I've literally hit none from jump shots. So we need to just start hitting whites. Um, he's like, he's greening nothing. He's actually like, He's greening nothing. It's just everything, every white he takes, he seems to make. And the few that he misses, he, uh, he's gotten the offensive rebounds on all of them. So, like, this guy's not doing anything particularly good. We've done a good job on, we've done a really good job on defense. It's just the 2K gods are not working in our favor. White on Blake for three. Our look still is gone. We have still yet to hit a white in this entire game. <laughs> nothing I can do right there. Like, that was a really good shot with Blake. He left him wide open. It's unfortunate the way this game is going right now. I'm not going to hit that shot. That's a bad pass. I tried to pass to Blake, right? I meant to pass to Blake and pass to Mari. Um, we are down by 17 points at halftime. Look, again, we are... Uh, we just have to hit. Like, I'm not going to green many more shots than I did there. I've just got to hit some non-greens. I don't know how likely that is. And Giannis just easily gets to steal right there. How is Giannis able to run from one end of the court to the other? He's just a... He's ridiculous. I can't wait to get that card. There we go. Don't cut! Let's get into a proper position, lads. Bang, bang. It's still... Still can't... 
We still cannot hit a non-green. I've never experienced this before. Like imagine if we'd hit say three of them in this match. Green, there we go. Like we're down by 14 points in now. Say if we hit three of those non-greens, this would be a five or white. This would be a five point game. Like if we kept getting luck we were getting and hit what we would normally hit in terms of whites, this would be a close game. Bye bye. Good pass there and good shot there by Odom. Good. Oh, great shot right there. Like, this guy's not greening much, but that was a big one right there. And that's a fair a shot that's 100% fair that it went in. Pull up. Green light there for Jamal Murray. Let's go. Whatever about this game, Jamal Murray himself is killing it. Another three. And another green for Jamal Murray. Who has made this a 12 point game? Don't leave Giannis. That's a terrible shot. Our board. Wide open, Jamal Murray. Snatch back into the three-point shot from deep. And it's another green from Jamal Murray. Let's go. Even though we can't hit any whites, it doesn't matter if we're green in every shot we're taking right here, which is what we're doing right now with Murray. This is crazy. Bad shot. Here we go. Lamar Odom. Catch the ball, catch the ball, catch the ball. It's wide open. And that is off, of course. Our streak of... That was a full white glitch right there. And our streak of... Literally not being able to hit a non-green shot continues. And we, we're we actually... Like, we should be destroying this guy. Get to your side of the basket. Get to your side of the basket. Good job, Odom. Get to that side of the basket. The only thing you can do is fail. Give up the M1. Or completely not get the block. So, you always got to be safe by doing that. By trying to cut them off. There we got the switch we wanted. And oh, good fail. That's actually that's not a good foul. Would have been a good foul if we weren't in team fouls. Okay, I'm gonna call a timeout next time we get the ball, just to get the bench in. We get Murray a bit of a rest, because he's been killing it. How do my two of my players let him go by? We literally, we were basket side by, with two of my players. And both of them decided, let's not play defense. Not even one, neither of them decided to play defense. They both decided not to play. Wide open, Baron Davis, green, please be a three. Two, damn. Oh, that's poor. That's not a good release. You know what? It's not a good release for me. I'm still shooting 0% on whites, but this guy hits everything. I just wish this game was more consistent when it came to that. And how is, like, what decides whether a player hop steps or whether they um, go for a dumb layup? Because I don't know. So obviously there are certain players that hop step and others to go for dumb layups. I don't know how to tell the difference between each of them. Wide open, green like a shot there by Smiths. Run straight at me. Run straight at me. I dare you. Oh, it's clean! That is so clean! Come on, 2K! You can't keep screwing me! You cannot keep screwing me! I've never experienced something like this before. From start to finish, there is nothing I can do. I am way better than this guy, and I'm playing way better than this guy. You're right to the basket, Dion. Waiters misses the dunk. Come on. Oh my God. I can't even describe this. I cannot even describe what I'm experiencing right now. Thank God I've already gone 12 0. Thank God. If he's like, say if this game was like 9 0, 10 0, you better believe he stood out of bounds. He, he waited for the ball standing out of bounds. You better believe that if this was a 10 and 0, I would have smashed at least one controller by now. That's a good shot. That's a half bar, and that's good. Of course it is. Of course it is. We are th into the fourth quarter, down 14, and we're still yet to hit a white. From start to finish, we're still yet to hit one. Mid-range, three ball, anything. We're there. Ball up. Okay, release. Finally! Finally! It's a miracle! It's a nice move there by Yanis. Blows the layup, though. Way wide open, Jamal Murray. Spins in, and I'm one, I'm one, I'm one, Jamal Murray. Let's go. He is straight up killing it right here. Regardless of how this game ends, we're probably going to lose it. Look, we're, we're playing a much better team, so it's not the biggest deal in the world. Why do we go out of the press? And this is the time when we should press, not go out of the press. Adaptive coach, coaching engine literally does the dumbest thing more often than not, and the hologram, Jaron Jackson, doesn't get the block. A 9 of 14 revealed 26 points for Jamal Murray. As horrendous of a game as this has been, 
Jamal Murray himself has been fantastic. Wide open. Not a great release. Hits it. Okay, maybe the luck's starting to go our way. Maybe we're starting to get the advantage of the algo. Get there, get there, get there! Can you just block a shot, Jackson? Can you block something? You've been dunked on like four times. You've given up two and ones. And you've been just shot over every single time. Can you block something? Like, that was a huge play. That was a massive, massive play. Bye bye. Green, let's go. This game's still not over. Why are we getting out of the press? Like, I want to press. I want to press. Why does Adaptive Coaching Engine keep taking me out of what I want to do? Bang, bang. Green light there. It's a wide open Jaron Jackson for three. Cannot hit it. I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna sell Jaron Jackson. He's been horrendous for me recently. Easy layup there by Jamal Murray. Let's go. There we go. We actually are in the press still. Probably too little too late, but... At least 2K did what I asked it to do. Okay, let's go. Let's connect and attack. Right to the basket. Jamal Murray with the dunk. Okay, he's got a sharp takeover. Again, too little, too late. This is an eight-point game. Look, we actually made... We put up a really good fight. I put up a good fight in this game. There's just not much you can do when... His, one, his team's better, and two, 2K just... Anything that could go wrong did go wrong. So, an eight-point loss. Look, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that in the end. Considering the way the game started, that's fine. So in the end, Jamal Murray, 13 minutes, 33 points, was plus four when he was on the floor, and 12 of 70 from the field, eight of 12 from three. That was unbelievable. Lamar Odom had 11 points. Deion Waiters had seven, was minus 12. Murray had six. Um, Jaron Jackson had four. Baron Davis had two. Rick Smith had two. I didn't realize Rick Smith had minus five in the floor. So obviously, he, <laughs> I didn't do as well as I thought, and then none of the others scored. But... Like, looking at team comparison, to be fair, they only got one offensive rebound after the first quarter. They had eight in the first quarter when they weren't scoring well. And the second half, like, I scored 46 points in the second half, beat them by nine, shot a ridiculously high percentage. And even with that, even with that, I only hit two not green shots in the entire game. In the entire game. First half was horrendous, 30%. But again, when you literally cannot hit a shot that's not green, you cannot expect to shoot that high percentage and unfortunately we didn't but either way if you're looking at this as Jamal Murray gameplay here he's the one who hit the two non-green shots and he greened everything in that game he greened everything he dominated like that was like again I couldn't care less got Klein Drexler earlier today that was unbelievable that was the best budget squad budget player performance that I've had this year as far as offense goes it's the best offensive ruby in the game by a mile I'm saying that right now better offensively in waiters and if you're looking at guys for like 1K MT, you cannot go wrong with Jamal Murray. He is unbelievable. Anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.